Hey guys, I just want to hop on here and give you a little bit of an update of what's going on after Hurricane Helene. Um, yes, I am a full-time lineman. I don't just talk about trades in the lineman trade. Uh, right now, I'm currently in Atlanta, Georgia. We just spent the last few days in Perry, Florida, where the eye of the hurricane kind of hit up there in the Big Bend. I call the armpit of Florida. Category 4, you know, winds of 120, 30, 40, up towards the 50, 150 miles per hour. A lot of trees down that up there in the Big Bend area, there's not a whole lot of population. There's not really any big cities except for Tallahassee, which is a little bit farther north. But we're f south of Tallahassee about an hour or so. A lot of customers just on a single phase line out in the middle of nowhere. Um, so a lot of damage like that. A lot of broken poles. I mean, I won't say there wasn't damage. There's a lot of damage. There still is damage down there in the Tri County. Uh, Tri-County Co-op and Duke Energy, they still have some outages there. It's going to take a minute for those outages to get done and dealt with just because of so much damage. But those are like one, two, three, four, five customers. Like we would spend all day, you know, 10, 15 crews that we have working on one tap line to get like 15, 20 customers on like all day, 16 hour day. So that's kind of what they're running into in Florida right now. But we got released today, which is October 1st. Uh, we drove up to Atlanta, stay in Atlanta, and we're headed to the Carolinas tomorrow, which if you're watching this, I don't know what day this will be up. October 2nd, we're going to the, the Carolinas. And uh, we're going to, I guess, go to ground zero for the most part. We don't have an exact location where we're going or uh, – anything like that we don't have any information exactly sure um, what we're, where we'll be going but there's a lot of damage if you guys have pay attention to any of the news or seen on TikToks or instagram or anything about this hurricane it did a lot of damage to georgia north carolina south carolina lots of flooding i mean communities wiped out there's deaths the death toll goes up every single day you know 100 plus um, lots of people missing. I don't even know what that number is. I know there's hundreds of people missing. So yeah, I guess we're going to be going to the Carolinas. I'm gonna go check that out and try to get power back communities where we can, from my understanding. I'll know more tomorrow, of course. The one thing I wanna to bring to attention was being a lineman and you hear rumors, you hear talk, you're part of Facebook groups and you're seeing things. And apparently, you know, linemen are finding dead bodies on the right of way. You know, I, apparently linemen, that they're saying like you like try to prepare yourself like if you can't have a mask or a gator because the smell the stench of things deteriorating is so bad that people are having a hard time like being outside is how bad it is these are things i'm seeing i'm hearing i don't know firsthand maybe we'll figure out tomorrow or in the near future i don't know how long we'll be there exactly if we're going like Asheville's like ground zero where that's where the devastation really happened but apparently it's devastating everywhere up there and I, I feel terrible for those communities like this this is the part of the trade where it's cool to work hurricanes work these storms right because you're making this money you know you're working you're doing this and that and it's it is fun. I enjoy it but I enjoy you know helping the communities getting power back on but this is a side that you know the damage that you see unless you ever experience a hurricane firsthand like if you lived in florida or something somewhere where a hurricane hits and you see the damage that these things do it wipes out communities like homes gone these people lose everything and it's it's completely devastating i feel terrible it's it's very sad i'm not sure what we're running into but i just want to give you guys an update about kind of what we got going on as far as hurricane helene goes and the restoration efforts so yeah we're headed to the carolinas and We'll see how that goes. I'll try to keep maybe you guys updated. I have been posting because I've been working, of course. Maybe I'll update you guys in the in the near future if I'm able to, but like there's no internet, there's no communications, like there's no cell service out there. I know Elon Musk and Donald Trump are getting Starlink out there so people can get that kind of stuff or have access to it so they can communicate and let people know. But this is this is new to me and it's part of Storm. You kind of go into the lot, some some of this stuff blind until you actually get there, talk with the bird dog and the company and, and things like that. You start getting more information and you start learning more things. But until then, you're kind of in the dark uh, and you only really know what you hear from other people or other linemen that are 
there. If you're a lineman and you're watching this for some reason, stay safe. There was a fatality in Florida the other day. Don't know any details on that from backfeed. So take care of yourselves. Take the proper safety precautions as needed. It's just part of the trade, man. We all have family to go home to, whether that's your mom, dad, brother, sister, your wife, your kids, your cousins, your you know, your friends. There's people that want to see you at home. So if you're on ground zero, if you're where the hurricane destroyed these communities, just be safe. With Blue Collar EDU, I'm here to expose, teach, educate you. And uh, just want to give you guys a little update about this. Maybe you don't know anyone that's been on the restoration efforts side of it. Just kind of giving you guys what I've seen and experienced so far. So because if you want to become a lineman, this is something that you can and will deal with. Damage happens, devastation. We kind of come in and we restore power and you see a lot of things that you might not want to see and can be very heartbreaking. So just keep that in mind if this is a trade you want to get into because this is this is part of it.